Hello and welcome back to another gun. Well, it's not quite a gun plow review. Uh, would it technically count as 30 minute missions? Well, it's a plum overview anyway. Uh, today we're taking a look at the customize effect first image version orange. Or customize effect first image ver orange. It's, uh, yeah, the, the, the brackets are a little confusing, but anyway, point is, we're taking a look at some explosion effect parts. I think we're going to split this up into three different sections. First, we're going to look at the actual effect parts. Then we're going to look at the uh, included base and adapter pieces. And then we'll go over a few examples of what you can do with them. So, let's start off by taking a look at the effect parts themselves. Let's just get it out of the way. Size comparison. Uh, you know, they're not massive, but they're a good size for 1 44th scale. And while I will say that they look pretty good, uh, they do look a little bit plain in just the orange plastic. I plan on painting these at some point, and that'll be a separate video, but even still, they don't look bad in pure orange. Uh, these also do come in sort of a milky white, which definitely works better for this smoke plume in particular, but it may actually also look better on these. I don't know. I just thought the orange looked nicer. So anyway, let's go over all the different parts you get. Uh, obviously, you get this smoke plume, which, uh, I mean, you could separate it, but this peg's only on one side, so I mean... Not really sure what you would do with these separately, to be honest. A lot of the other ones, you know, you can separate them and they're good, but... Uh, speaking of which, you get this one large blast effect, which you can separate. And uh, now one side has a hole going straight through, the other side just has a hole stopping, but both of them have 3mm pegs. Which means you can just plug them onto any compatible hole on a figure. They use 30-minute uh, emissions as an example. Uh, I'm not going to because my kits are painted, but I do have a figure to show off later. Then you have two different small explosions, which are also both the same... Come on. <laughs> Find the right ones to actually separate it. Yeah, there we go. They are the same. They both have the three millimeter peg and this is the exact same way so you actually get six half explosions if you uh, wanted to have more like actually on a mobile suit or you can have them as full 3d explosions in the air now you also get two sort of impact effects one being just sort of a smoke and a poof that <laughs> you, you can see it and the other being more of an actual impact like a blast both of these have a three millimeter hole and they do actually show this one combined with this one and I do think that looks quite nice of course you could also combine it with this one uh, maybe it doesn't look quite as good but you know, the options there. You can also do this, which I didn't realize until I was editing. Sorry for cutting in. Alright, moving on to the included stand and adapter pieces. You do get a very, very basic stand. Uh, I will point out both of these are 3mm ports. Basically, uh, if there's a peg or a hole, it's going to be 3mm including these, and I'm pretty sure the actual hinges that are used on this are also 3mm. Uh, also, you can actually separate this so that it's just one arm instead of two. One of these has pegs on both ends, and the other one has a uh, hole on one, and I can't actually remember which one is which. <laughs> yeah, so this one, you can just take this off and attach it here if you want a shorter arm. 
Also, you get a bunch of little pieces. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sure what this one's for. <laughs> Just a little tab. I'm assuming it's for something. Maybe you could tab it in somewhere, but uh, you get this one, which is a hole into a peg on the side if you want to change the angle that it's attaching to. You get this one, which is just a peg and a peg with a little spacer in the center of it. This one, which is just a hole, <laughs> and two of these sort of elbow pegs. So if you want to attach it on to the side of something but having it face forward, that's what you use these for. Now, like I was saying, they use 30 minute missions kits since they have a bunch of 3mm ports on them. Uh, I'm not going to because the ones I have are painted, and I don't really have any options otherwise. So, uh, give a warm welcome to the Jim Jim, one of the only other figures I have that actually have a bunch of ports on it. Uh, they are actually hidden under these panels, but. Give me a moment and I'll see what I can do for a little example diorama. Alright, uh, it's not using all the parts, there's a few leftovers, but it definitely gets across the general idea what you can do with these, <laughs> and it does really look good. I did bring in one of my Tamashi Nation Act 5s to hold up the Jim Jim, but I'm sure you have your own stands. I, uh, I will admit I, I cheated slightly, uh, I used a bit of blue tack. To attach them to the shield since there's no uh, pegs there but I mean that's not really a big deal is it doesn't really matter how you attach them on you could use double-sided tape if you wanted to as long as you stick them on in the place you want so to wrap this review up uh, this effect set is really nice honestly I ended up really enjoying these they're a lot of fun to mess around with you can really easily make some fun dioramas with them and they're a decent price for what you get I, uh, I will say that some of the effect pieces are a little bit situational, the, the sort of large smoke plume and the impact effect aren't as useful as the actual explosion smoke themselves, but they are still very useful when you need that specific effect, so I'm not going to complain about getting them. These are a very easy way to add some dynamicism to any dioramas you may have fully recommend getting these, and I expect them to look even better once I've done a little bit of painting on them. But anyway, that's it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the review, give it a thumbs up, helps a lot. Subscribe and hit the bell for future reviews. And as always, until next time, happy building.